How's it going guys and girls, it's Lucas from Swagger Blonde here and I'm back with some more Micro Machines for the Super Nintendo Classic Mini. Hope you're doing okay, thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my retro Let's Play videos, I really appreciate it. If you're indeed enjoying my content and would like to see more, hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell notification icon to be instantly subscribed to Swagger Blonde and notified every time I upload a brand new retro gaming video. Again, if you are enjoying my content, don't forget to give me a like, comment and share this video around because it really helps with YouTube's algorithm and it just means more people can find and access my content easily and consistently. And finally, you can follow me on TikTok, Twitter and Tumblr and the links will be in this video description. So, once again, this is commentary filmed over gameplay I did... Um Oh, I think a couple of nights ago and I decided to do challenge mode again and we're getting straight into it with the power boats here so this is the qualifying race uh, and there you go so I actually get a little bit further here in challenge mode um, I'm quite surprised because they've kind of changed the order of the races in this version so it follows it up to like I don't know race 10 or something then it changes to um, the choppers which is kind of a nice little surprise there and uh, once again, we can kind of choose who we want to race against. And what's great about this is the fact that each racer uh, has a rating. So some are poor, some are really good, some are slick, some are crazy. And you can actually have all the best racers to race against straight away. And if you're victorious, you can eliminate them. And then you can have the not-so-good racers uh, in the later races. So there's a, such a really cool element of strategy here. So we're going to get straight into it now with the brake fast bends. And uh, let's see how this goes. Because I can't remember how well I did. I'm pretty sure, though, I got... I know I got pretty far, but I just don't know whether I got first place like all the time. In this, in this track, it's not that hard to get first place. Very simple. It does kind of build up gradually um, to much more harder tracks. Um, but you will kind of learn them. It's a bit like learning a very complicated piece of music. If you kind of learn it little by little, you will kind of get it eventually. Uh, it's just kind of practice, really, I suppose. Um, one I really love is the cue ball pocket. I used to really hate that one on the snooker table because I could never kind of work it out. Um, I would always be like afraid to accelerate round the corners because I'd always fall off. But again, you kind of work it out as you go along. Maybe like that's first place. So yeah. And there we go. And as I said, um, on TikTok, I definitely recommend you guys check him out on there because you get previews of upcoming videos. Because sometimes I'll do, I'll do a video without commentary, or sometimes I'd have already done a video which I'm going to upload. I don't know next month, so I might have a snippet of that on TikTok. So uh, you know, it's certainly worth checking out. Plus, as well, it's not as long as these videos as well, so you can kind of have little uh, nuggets of Swagger Bond uh, if you prefer. So we are on the desktop drop off, um, very very cool track indeed. As you can see I'm struggling there with the uh, pre-rendered objects. Um, um, and that's one thing I do hate about Micro Machines. Uh, I love the game but sometimes if you get stuck on an object you can't seem to progress anywhere. I guess they were going for some realism there so it can really kind of cost you the race. But it's definitely got me excited to kind of want to try and forge ahead and try and get further and further with this classic game. So, yeah. I've also got Turbo Tournament as well, which I will be trying out sometime, but the sound is really bad in some areas, so because it's emulated, it's not been emulated very well, so it's kind of like the music, there's like a, a skip in the music. It's only very slight, but it is really annoying, and also a droning noise, which I don't know why there's a droning noise, but well... Um, for the price I paid, <laughs> I can suppose you get what you pay for. I didn't really pay too much for it anyway, and most of the games aren't like that anyway, but, you know, I definitely uh, will be picking up Turbo Tournament, I think, um, on the SNES, and uh, because I do actually have an actual Super Nintendo, so it'd be interesting to kind of hook that up again. And there we go, and boom first place and <laughs> look at that you can fall off the desk as well I think that's pretty cool get first place and just fall off fantastic fan dabby dozy okay so first place and as you can see I didn't mention I'd opted for the best driver spider to be honest um, 
I'm unsure as to whether there's any differences in the races. There could be now, now I come to think about it, because um, I tried this a few days ago for the very first time upon a recommendation, and um, I must have picked a really rubbish player because um, I couldn't go very fast. So I think maybe that was the reason. Because I was like, why isn't it as fast as the Master System version? I was literally almost outraged, but then I realised... Um, if I'm not a good player then I can't go that fast so it kind of makes sense now you know it's one of those uh, one of those things I didn't even take into account which really I should have done because I I saw an FAQ on micro machines and it explains about uh, the different players and their strengths and weaknesses which I think is very good that someone would go at the trouble of going to that detail with the players so that really helped but as you can see I got stuck on a pencil and the reason why I hesitated a bit there was I couldn't move even though I was accelerating so that was one thing they really needed to fix with this one and I actually think that Codemasters I mean they obviously developed micro machines but I think they didn't convert this one this is a conversion it was done by um, oh god I know Ocean Software published it I think it was Mindscape was it possibly um, but they did they did an okay job but I think they, they could have really just like when you get stuck on an object you should be able to instantly um, accelerate away from it if you're going in the right direction that's just my uh, my theory because I couldn't move and it can really cost you the race but they, it just sort of also teaches you to get good at the game because you don't want to bang into anything so that's kind of kind of my thing with this one so yeah having fun with this one so far as i said i've got more micro machines coming up on the channel i definitely want to film some more i want to do a head-to-head -head on the master system version i've been promising this now but i will hopefully have more to made a film i'm also working on uh another episode of sofa swagger which should be in about two weeks um the reason being, um, I tried Driver 2 and I've been playing it for weeks, but I just cannot progress any further on the Havana. And it's a real shame because I wanted to do that game to its conclusion. But the problem I was having was I've, I've set everything up. I've no problem. I'll have the camera, I'll have the lights, I'll have everything set up. But I just can't get any further on Driver. So what's happening is I'm wasting time. Time's being wasted. And so I have to keep like sometimes resetting the camera and stuff and it just I'm just not getting anywhere and it's kind of holding me back and I thought well I'm not having a very good time with the game it's not gonna uh, portray me very well on camera because I probably end up throwing the control pad so I've literally just switched to a different game you know um, and it's not to say Driver 2 is a bad game it's just it seems more look based than actually um, I don't know skill you know, that's one thing I was finding with it right away. You know, like, um, and I sort of made a comparison between that and, like, a game which is hard, but you can do it. Say, like, I don't know, Double Dragon is a hard game, but um, with persistence, you can kind of complete it if you try really hard, if you learn the patterns. Whereas a game like Driver 2, um, it, it's almost impossible because you can't seem to work out the patterns. The patterns are always changing. And it's a little bit too advanced for its own good, so I think a little bit more programming could have been <laughs> could have been done. As I said, the cities are really impressive and things, but yeah, I just wasn't having fun with it anyway. Sorry guys to ramble on, <laughs> but yeah, so the, there will be a new episode in two weeks, so I'm going to try to stick to uh, uh, games and genres which I can kind of handle, I think. <laughs> you know, and maybe, I don't mind trying the odd game out, but... Um, I don't want to kind of take on too much and, you know, promise you guys I'm going to complete the game if I'm not, you know, so, yeah, but anyway, uh, back to this Micro Machines, and as you can see, I'm doing really well on um, Sandy Straits, uh, this one took me a while to work out, I remember, I remember actually popping Micro Machines for the first time in my Master System, I must have got it, it must have been like years ago, around 2014-15 period I believe um, I basically just uh, stuck it in and I guess I didn't have the patience because I'm, I might have beat this level once but I never really sort of practiced it I kind of just give up I think <laughs> but it's nice to be able to go back into it like and play a different version and just 
you know, compare and contrast and stuff. So that's always cool to do. So there we go, number one again. Dwayne's basically losing his mind. He can't handle the fact that he's lost. Next is... Oatmeal and Overdrive. Yes. I was going to say Fruit Juice Follies, but... I don't know whether... But that's I think it's on the list I don't know but maybe the chopper level takes its place I'm not sure but yeah basically now the goal is to try and beat the chopper level which isn't a difficult track but they put lots of uh, bushes in the way and you have to kind of obviously angle your chopper at the right the right altitude the right speed so that's going to be a challenge but very fun I think anyway on to this newer breakfast table one this one's not too bad I, I do find this bit a little bit confusing towards the end because you got a waffle there you got to watch out for you've also got some gunk there you need to try not to get in but otherwise it's not a bad track pretty good I think the one selling point of this is that it's four players so it's a lot of fun I think micro machines in multiplayer mode loads of people really enjoy it um, and games like this are built to last, you know what I mean? They're quick, they're simple, but they work really well, you know. They just, uh, they do kind of, but then yeah, I don't know if it's possible to actually have a four player race on here, whether they'd be split screen or anything, or whether it's just challenging head to head. It's possible. I might just check it out actually, just boot it up and. Uh, Pretend I've got four of the players and see if I can because I've got enough pads and stuff I just want to see like how it would work Like with a multi-tap or without a multi-tap that would be interesting but Yeah, I'm doing well here, you know, so A few weeks of uh, memorizing these tracks and practicing them does kind of pay off even though I do get stuck in the uh, marmalade a little bit I think it's marmalade I like to think it is. I think I, I was thinking it might have been orange juice, but yeah, I think maybe it's marmalade or jam or something. But there we go, first place again. So yeah, you can kind of finish in first or second as long as you get those two places. You're all right. It doesn't kind of work on a point system. It kind of works on elimination. So if you're third or fourth, then you will be eliminated from the tournament unless you've got lives, and lives are very hard to come by in this game. As you can see, I didn't even mention the bonus round um, when it was occurring because it's really unfair. As you can see, time ticks away far too quickly and it's not as generous as on the Master System version and that's kind of annoying to me. So, but anyway, we're on this one now. This one's actually one the cue ball pocket. This is the one I was talking about on the snooker table. Yeah, I can now take these uh, at high speeds. Uh, I feel more comfortable with this track now. So, I get so bogged down with technique when really all I need to do is just buckle down and practice. So yeah, <laughs> I'm still not 100%, but I'm better than I was anyway. What catches me out is this card coming up, you know. Yeah, sometimes I miss it completely. But as you can see, my skill level's improving so much that I'm actually catching up with the other races, which is nice. I find that very difficult to do sometimes, but yeah, it's just about... Um, memorizing this little bit as well helps so it helps you get a little bit of a lead in your opponents so I'm in first place again so I've just got to try and maintain that lead if I can so I'm remembering to turn as well so it all becomes kind of instinctive after a while you kind of get into it which is pretty good so I just remember that card. I slow down a little bit here so it's as you can see it's starting to become a little bit like second nature now like like anything like a reflex so the snares versions really helped me kind of uh, tweak with my technique and uh, enjoy the tracks more as well because the handling uh, as I said it's a lot safer you know what I mean like you can't go too out of control which is nice so some people, I've mentioned this before, I'm sorry if I'm sounding like a bloody broken record, but a lot of people complain about the handling and the mass system version. There's nothing wrong with it. The problem is you can't accelerate too fast. You know, it's a bit like, I don't know, I can't drive, but like, you know, if you're in a car and you accelerate too fast and you're out of control, you know, it's because you're accelerating too fast and because you're driving out of control. That's why 
<laughs> the control that's why it's wonky so you have to kind of like bear in mind that you've got to kind of stick to the track to some degree and just try and maintain that balance between speed acceleration and control and there you go first place so you know and if i can do it you know anybody can Uh, going off, get off, need to get off my soapbox now, <laughs> anyway, but there you go, but you can see, you know, I've mastered that track now, so I've no problem with it, but Dwayne's been eliminated, so he's out of the tournament now, and that means I can choose somebody else, uh, and you can literally choose any of the poorer players, or any of the uh, highly skilled players, so who should I choose, uh, we'll go with Anne, we'll take Anne, there we are, so Anne kind of takes Dwayne's place, it's really weird how this works, but check it out. I've got another Rough Trucks one. But this one, admittedly, is a little bit fairer. It gives you a minute now to get around the track. No, 52 seconds. Tell a lie. But yeah, it's still really difficult. Yeah, but time's just not as generous as on the Master System. Because I did this on Master System, no problem. But on here, I really struggle because... They don't leave you much margin for error. If you make a mistake, then you you don't get a second chance, essentially. So, normally on the mass system version, time ticks away so slowly. Either that, you get more time. And also, um, it allows for mistakes as well. It knows that you're probably not going to get it done straight away. So, it is quite generous and fair, I think. You know, I did have problems with it, but I realised it's actually a work of genius because you might not get it first time, but it teaches you. As you, as you play it, the more you do it, the more you learn it. And again, like the tracks, you just kind of, you know, it becomes instinctual then. That's a big word. I'll have to write that down. Instinctual. <laughs> but anyway, there we go. So I didn't get an extra life. You don't lose any lives if you lose the uh, bonus rounds, which is very cool. And we're going to do Handyman's Curve. Now, for some reason, I keep calling this Hangman's Curve. And I don't know why. I think maybe I'm just coming out of Halloween season. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Speaking of Halloween, did everyone have a good one? I had a fantastic Halloween. I watched Halloween 1, Halloween 2. I was watching um, Halloween 4 or 5, The Curse of Michael Myers, where Michael's got a psychic link to his niece, which uh, is pretty good. And you got Donald Pleasance, who was getting on a bit, still playing Dr. Loomis. And, uh, yeah, I do love the Halloween films. I'm trying to think if I watched any other horror films. I don't know. I think it was just Halloween. <laughs> it goes with the goes with the theme. But yeah, I'm a big horror film fan, but I don't do like um, you know like horror and blood for blood's sake. I do like if there's a point to it, you know, like Hellraiser, that sort of thing, where there's actually a point. It's meant to be quite visceral. There's reasons for it, and as long as the story's good as well. Mind you, having said that, Hellraiser one, one and two are absolutely fantastic. Three is. Uh, it's okay in parts, but like, just I like the story. I think it's fantastic the way that it's been done. But I think I found out later that it was written by one bit was written by Clive Barker and the other was by somebody else. And the bits that are good, <laughs> you know, are written by Clive Barker. But yeah, the other bits just yeah. And then after that, they all went a bit silly, a little bit made for TV. And then Doug Bradley wouldn't reprise his role. Because he, he didn't feel that they were going in the right direction. And he's right. If I'm honest, you know. Most of these modern Hellraiser films. Pinhead's only in it for like, I don't know, 20 minutes or something. I and mean, he's like the star of the show. Mind you, tell a lie. I did like Bloodlines. Bloodlines is a great ha uh, Hellraiser film. If you don't like what, you know, if you think 1, 2 and 3 were sort of brilliant. And 3 was not, not so good. Bloodlines was a good one. Anyway, I'm talking about Hellraiser. I'm not even concentrating on micro machines. Anyway, check it out. I'm on Handyman's Curve. Not Hangman's Curve. Handyman's Curve. Even when I'm putting in the tags, I keep putting in Hangman's Curve. It's no good. You're not going to get any views that way. And this one is a very cool track to do. It's very de deceptive as well. It's one that requires a lot of concentration and pinpoint memorization. Does not see that? There's like a, a curve right here, right to the end. And I still got first place. So how cool is that? Absolutely brilliant. Alright, so the results are in. 
and I qualified Mike slapping himself. He can't believe he lost. And we're back to the power boats, and it is Bermuda bathtub. This one's awesome. I love this one. We've got like a whirlpool, or I think it's like the plug where the plug's supposed to be. It's like emptying water, and you've got to avoid that plug hole. It's a nice, simple track, although you've got to watch out for the rubber ducky. Make sure you uh, go through the tunnel at the end, and you'll be fine. Yeah, the rubber ducky's kind of there. So if you go too wide, you're going to hit, so you want to stay. Sort of stick to the sides, uh, I would advise. You know, look at that, and you can speed over the whirlpool there. And you need to make sure you go straight here because if you don't you'll click the tunnel and you won't be able to move or you'll get bullied by the uh, other players. So yeah, nice. I do love the boats. I think all the cheats um, that you can do like on the NES and Master System versions are in this one too. Like I know in the qualifying race in the bathtub if you reverse over the finish line uh, your vehicle gets faster. There's also one if you fall off brake fast bends on the far right of the orange, you will get infinite lives. Now, that is something I'm very interested in, not to complete the game, but it would help me practice the tracks. Because, and then again, I was saying about the Master System version, I wish it had a practice mode. Apparently it does, but you have to input a cheat, which is really cool. It's almost like a secret option, you know, it's like, it's just so well layered. The whole game is just amazing, you know, like everything you can think of, they put in there, but it's either hidden, you've got to find it yourself, or, you know, so, it, this game can be played for fun, or for seriousness, it is definitely one of the best races I've ever played, and as I said, it's right up there with Mario Kart and F-Zero, for uh, a top, top game to play, you know, particularly, I don't know, on a Saturday night, or Friday night, or something, you know, with a nice cup of tea, you can't go wrong. Right, Sahara Sandpit. So this one is a little bit more difficult than Sandy Straits. Uh, we have to do a lot more turning. There's also a cheeky little S bend as well. Um, as you can see, I'm just kind of slowing down a little bit to make this bend. So you have to turn very sharply here and then go down and then you have to just sort of ease off a little bit and make sure you don't bang into the sandcastle and this is where the cheeky S thing comes in. I remember this that like my head in my head it was like I knew exactly what to do <laughs> where sometimes I get really mixed up with this one. I keep think I keep turning the wrong way thinking I'm there yet but I'm not there. It's one of those ones. Yeah here we go. And I keep banging into the pebbles and the problem is um, yeah, they're basically as hard as rocks, so I can't actually, uh, I can't move them with my little vehicle. I have to take the damage, and also I end up, uh, it ends up costing me my position, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch up here. It would be so good if I can just catch up and just reclaim first place, or at least get second place. We'll see how it goes. So, I'm in third now. So, that's something. So you have to drive like really super well to actually overtake and like get your place. I don't know if I'm going to get it back though, that's the thing. I will try. If not, then I'll have to try again unfortunately. But there you go. I sort of skipped part of the track there as well. So I didn't make it that time, but that wasn't bad. You see how I'm getting better with the track? So yeah, we'll just try again. The problem is, as I said, you get very limited lives, but again, you can do the cheat and you can have infinite lives. So if you're like a younger player and you're really struggling, it gives you infinite attempts, which I think is absolutely brilliant, you know. So I would I would say if I was making a criticism, and like who am I to criticise, you know, because this game's perfect, but I suppose hindsight's a wonderful thing, but wouldn't it be good if like you win three races and you get an extra life anyway? That would be good. Like it rewards you and see that I just did a bit of a track skip there by accident. That would be good. But then again, <laughs> I contradicted myself. There is a way of getting like two extra lives anyway. Like I think on is it desktop drop off? I think you can actually if you bump into a blue pencil or something. I don't know which end it is, but you get two lives, so it's yeah. It's amazing. Everything I kind of 
not 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 criticize but every time i think about it to make this better they've they've got an answer for so you know they thought of everything yeah absolutely brilliant game but yeah i'm very tempted to get like a mega drive just so i can get turbo tournament 96 that's going to be the next goal because i was always fascinated with the track editor um, I remembered it now because I looked it up earlier because I, I wasn't sure which version it was because uh, Turbo Tournament came out on SNES and Mega Drive but there was an update in 96 where you get some new tracks as well and a track editor so that was pretty cool so I might try and get that on emulation or see if I can play that one because uh, I was just so obsessed with the track ed editor hang on, tell the light, I do have it but it's handheld and I can't save it so, yeah, I have to get it like on a Mega Drive emulation or something, so that'd be cool. And there we go, uh, finally qualified. Oh my god, but it wasn't bad. So now, now I'm first. Mike goes out, and I think there might be another bonus round here. So it looks well, I do really well, but I can't progress anywhere. So who do I want to race? We'll go with Joel. Very cheeky Joel. I think it's another, yeah, it's another bonus round. So I'm doing so well, but I, I just can't win a single life in here. It's like you have to play perfectly. So that means no mistakes, but that's impossible with this one. You get 70 odd seconds though. I suppose they are generous, but look at that. I can barely even, uh, barely even work this out. I keep going too wide here. I'm, I'm so like, fancy to get to the end it ends up costing me so you have to stay in the in the dark blue as much as you can so take a tight turn I would love to say that I do this but that's not going to be the case and you get these things in the way these bloody plants very hard to see that I'm getting stuck on an object so I can't move that's my one complaint with this like I'm I'm, I'm in the right direction and it just won't let me through for some reason see look at that it's like um, the hitbox is all over the place it's like it won't let me uh, move anywhere so now I don't know where I'm supposed to go there's no indication on the track uh, the tracks kind of back there so I thought I had to go on the stones but it looks like now I have to go up here to the track so yeah it's one of those ones I just can't seem to figure out but you know what I reckon I'll get there a bit of practice and I've got two lives anyway so it's not a bad run this time round I think so here we go so this is going to be my Achilles heel now uh, never remember what it's called potted something potted Potted path, the potted passage, yeah, it's the one with the choppers. A very cool level, but again, yeah, you have to not bang into anything, but that's almost impossible. Uh, unless you know the track really well, so you have to just take it very slowly. See, it's easy for me to say it, but trying to do it is another thing entirely. As you can see, I, I go totally the wrong way, and I sort of end up being knocked around like a freaking domino <laughs> or pinball I, into the uh, into the areas I'm not supposed to go into and it costs me the race and it means I can't keep up with my competitors really so look at that so it's like I need to go wider so I will get there I mean like as I said hindsight's a wonderful thing I can kind of see where I was going wrong uh, quite well so I will get there with this one it's just practice and also I'm really excited because I I could potentially get further because like the tracks that like oh, so on fruit juice follies and there's another snooker one and bedroom something somewhere in a bedroom where you're in a tank bedroom battle or something like those tracks probably come after the chopper one which means in this game's rules it's actually further ahead so you know it's a very exciting time so i can crack that if i can crack this then also if if i get to the uh the master system version i could get even further so yeah nice knock-on effect i suppose just practice i guess but yeah i'm just terrible at this one 
you know. I think the best I've ever done is um, I knocked, I got a few lights in head to head, and that's it. Speaking of head to head, I need to film some more uh, head to head on Master System. I'm not even sure I've done any. I think it's just been purely snares. I will have to check my playlist. You know, it wasn't the plan to do these micro machine videos, but I just kind of got into it. I thought, you know what, I'll make some quick play videos. Um, and it's not too stressful because it, it means I don't have to put too much pressure on myself to complete the game. You know, I can just try out different games and, you know, not worry too much and just have some fun. So I did actually have fun with this. Something I'm learning to do with, with video games. Video games are supposed to be fun, you know. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, you can get so competitive you forget why you're playing them in the first place. Like, um, I think that's half my problem. I'll I'll think, oh, I want to play Resident Evil Code Veronica, and then I realise how difficult it's going to be, but then I forget, well, you know what? It should be fun as well. It should be enjoyable. I shouldn't be trying to take it way too seriously, but, well, that's how it was back in the day, guys. we get a video game, it would draw us in, and, uh, you know, we want to do the best that we could, you know? I remember huddling around a TV set with my brothers trying to complete, like, a very difficult game. Or at my friend's house and stuff. So, I remember the first time I did Mario Brothers. That was like, oh my god, an epic moment for me. You know, the fact I was able to, like, finish that game was huge. Even though now it's, again, hindsight, it's probably not a, a very, not even a very difficult game. But as a little kid, my god. What a challenge to be able to beat Bowser was incredible. And there we go, guys. I don't think I uh, don't think I do it. <laughs> I think that might be it, actually. Uh, come to think of it. So I think that's it. Is it? Yeah, there you go. Well, all that's left to say now is thank you very much. This has been Lucas from Swagabond. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my retro Let's Play videos. If you are enjoying my content and want to see more, hit that red subscribe button, hit that bell notification icon. That way you will be instantly...